Meghan humiliated the Archbishop. Harry attacked for endorsing what she was saying. Meghan Markle has been accused of humiliating the Archbishop of Canterbury after claims she married Prince Harry three days before the ceremony. During her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, broadcast earlier this month, Meghan said she and the Duke of Sussex had a secret marriage ceremony with the most relevant Justin Welby in their backyard. The Duchess said nobody knew that the couple shared personal vows for just the two of us ahead of their eagerly anticipated wedding day in Windsor on May 19, 2018. Royal expert Angela Levin has hit out at the Duchess for dragging Mr. Welby into it. Speaking to Talk Radio, Ms. Levin said, what is very embarrassing is for him the Archbishop of Canterbury that he had to come out and say, he didn't want to but other senior clergy wouldn't let him get away with it because they kept saying it wasn't true and it couldn't happen. How humiliating to create a scene of victimhood? You drag in the Archbishop of Canterbury to say something. I think that's appalling. It's even more appalling in my view that Harry didn't say much because Meghan wouldn't let him get a word in edge ways. He said, yes. There was just the three of us. He endorsed what Meghan was saying. If Meghan pretended to be naive and not know anything about legality in England she might have got away with it but Harry knows absolutely it is not true and yet he didn't dare to speak out and say it wasn't a wedding. It was thought it could not have been a legal ceremony as it lacked witnesses and a registered venue, and was instead likely to have been an informal exchange of vows. In an interview with Laura Pollocka, Mr. Welby was asked about what happened and he said the legal wedding was on this Saturday, adding, but I won't say what happened at any other meetings. The Archbishop told the Italian newspaper, if any of you ever talk to a priest, you expect them to keep the talk confidential. It doesn't matter who I'm talking to. I had a number of private and pastoral meetings with the Duke and Duchess before the wedding. The legal wedding was on the Saturday. I signed the wedding certificate, which is a legal document and I would have committed a serious criminal offense if I signed it knowing it was false. During the interview, Meghan told Winfrey, You know, three days before our wedding we got married. No one knows that, but we called the Archbishop and we just said, Look, this thing, this spectacle, is for the world, but we want our union between us. She said the vows they have framed are just the two of us in our backyard with the Archbishop of Canterbury. Both Harry and Meghan said it was just the three of us. Mr. Welby's comments come after the former official who issued the license for the Sussex's wedding said Meghan is clearly misinformed.